No, this is aggressive. Why they didn't get behind something, I have no idea. Really, honestly, casinos don't carry gold bars. It's all cash. Where are the spike strips? Why haven't the cops laid the spikes out? Hey everybody, I'm Camden Pace. Back in the day, I went down for a couple armed bank robberies, served over nine years in the United States Federal Bureau of Prison. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to Casino Heist in Grand Theft Auto V. Can't wait to see it. Okay, we got a crew jumping into the SUV and off they go. Let's see, what kind of casino is this? Coming in the back? And it looks like they're up in management offices. Maybe someone's trying to take out surveillance. I think they would have been better off just spraying something over this. Oh, somebody's down. They've, they've taken somebody out, so there's no coming back from that. Well, this crew looks like they got a little bit more on their on the ball here. They kind of know where they're going. They're trying to hit a vault. This guy's having a terrible time trying to get through the doors. Then we're running across the catwalk, jumping for apparently no reason. There's the vault. Bringing out hydraulic lock pick. Okay, well, that's pretty high tech. I don't have a sense of urgency. What are they doing? Just checking everything out. And we've got another security checkpoint to breach. Thumbprint recognition. How did they get someone else's? We got gold bullion that is way too light to be real. Those bricks are incredibly heavy. The amount that he put in his backpack, he would be buckling under yeah. that weight. And I don't really understand why a casino would have gold bullion on hand. I don't know of any casino who would have gold. It would all be cash. Ah, we cleaned them out. They did a spot check on the vault, so they know it's been robbed. Taking on another surveillance camera. He's a pretty good shot if he can hit something three inches in diameter from that distance. And here comes law enforcement. Okay, special tactics force coming in. SWAT's all lined up. He's leaping and jumping with 450 pounds or more. That's pretty impressive. For those who aren't familiar with it, a small brick can weigh up to 50 to 65 pounds. So do the math. That would never happen. They would have to literally have a forklift to put all that bullion on a pallet, load it onto an actual truck. Second getaway vehicle. Okay, well, that's, that's about right. Need one of those. Why is he climbing over the car? Is that a police chopper? Blows the cops. I don't know, I kind of like the helicopter. It'd be nice if you had one and uh, avoid any other air traffic pathways. I think it's a good idea, but probably not for very long. You'd probably want to just get out of a 30 to 40 mile perimeter and then get into an undisclosed vehicle and go from there. But I kind of like the helicopter getaway. I wonder if they're flying by instruments. They'd have to be, the weather's horrible. There's hardly any visibility. And we got some guys out here in the snow they're handing off one briefcase for all the gold they're getting. There would be a lot of briefcases full of cash, unless those are Swiss bank drafts or something. Broad daylight heist. So this will be interesting to see if it's an inside job. Not common at all to hit the same place twice. It's a one and done. Too many measures are put in place after that. They're gonna roll these cameras back, look at it like it's game film. Where did we go wrong? Where were our weaknesses? A very, very intense, thorough investigation from the casinos and actually the Gaming Commission, plus the U.S. Treasury Department. So no, you would never wanna hit the same place twice. Next security check's coming. They look like they have business knowing exactly what they're going to do. Okay, we got some kind of security clearance card. These guys can't get their act together. They can't get the security card scanned simultaneously. Look at these knuckleheads. Okay, they finally figured it out. Really don't understand why they keep leaping for no reason. Oh, oh, you're here. Why didn't they see something? The fellow's gonna just open the vault for them. I guess he assumes that they are armored car company. Oh, that's a heavy door. There. Oh, and there he takes him out. With a punch, no less. Yeah, that that was really strange. If these guys were to come in to gain access to the vault, they would have had to have cleared it with at least two levels of security. Those are two fail-safes that 
something like this actually could not happen. They would have needed a code to give to one of the officers and then a separate code to give to the second line of defense. So they couldn't just go in and say, hey, open the vault. Vaults are usually time released as well. So if you initiated an opening sequence, it could take anywhere from five minutes to 10 minutes for the locks to actually disengage. More gold bullion, only using one hand and Wow, he's strong if he's slinging it around like that. Drill pick, and I'm not sure how realistic that really is. All right, three million, nine thousand stolen. Okay, so their exit strategy is too risky. They're gonna have to come up with another plan. As long as you stay calm, those outfits should get you from here to the exit. Just walking through the gaming floor, nobody seems to think that's odd or pay any attention drop off vehicle outside. The other two guys appear to have their own. Oh my god, that's that is completely insane. We're on the on the freeway jumping curves. You know, no damage to the front tires. Oh my god, how did that car not explode? How did that not happen? That is so insane. Oh my god. Well, they were in a big hurry to make this drop. I'm surprised they got there. Now we're in aggressive mode. Okay, we got, looks like, digital snow print camo. Why, I don't know, because it appears that they're in a very dry desert area. Okay, so coming in, guns blazing, right on the gaming floor. Oh, this is aggressive. Oh my God, they're just massacring everybody. Oh man, these guys, these guys are not playing at all. Okay, where's the vault? They just totally let the cashier desk just go. There's a ton of money there. They must be looking for the big stuff. Oh my, they evaporated the cocktail waitress. Why would they do that? Now I don't like these guys. Definitely not the smartest move to just go in guns blazing on the gaming floor and taking out people playing slots, cashier, a cocktail waitress, or whomever. Right then, dispatch is calling law enforcement, so they haven't even barely gotten into the casino, let alone gotten to the vault. They would never even get halfway there in real life. Security would have already taken them out. So not the smartest strategy to go in guns blazing, but very exciting nevertheless. If a person were planning on doing this in real life, that is not the way to do it. Okay, when are we gonna get to the money? Because the alarms are already tripped all over the place by now. They better get their stuff and go. Now we're into another management office, and he's pretty sharp on the draw here. Have you heard of the high elves? This dude comes out of nowhere. Curious, are they gonna blast their way through? Why they didn't get behind something, I have no idea. That would have been shrapnel cutting everybody in half. I like the explosion though. I, I, I like it. I, I like I think I like aggressive mode. I'm trying to kind of piece together why he's cutting out an oil painting. Just destroyed a beautiful work of art if you just cut that out of the frame. And he's got no canister to put it in, so it's gonna be all wadded up. By the time he gets somewhere, it'll be worth nothing. Somehow they were able to shoot through the bulletproof glass. And here comes SWAT. It looks like he's on a racetrack, horse racing track maybe. This guy keeps jumping for no reason. And he's carrying probably 300 pounds of gold on his back. <laughs> he's got the getaway car in the stables. Where were the horses? That's what I want to know. Well, this is pretty fun. Okay, let's see how they negotiate this one. Oh, man, talk about draw attention to yourself. Run over the cops. Okay, the cops do have perimeter set up. Where are the spike strips? Why haven't the cops laid the spikes out? All the cars would have been abreast, so they couldn't have gotten around them. Good work, you lost them. Got the three guys again, and there's the obligatory handshake. What they're doing here is probably one of the most realistic games that I've seen. Don't think the gold bouillon would be laying out as easy as that. Security clearance coming in, especially with fingerprint recognition, that's on par. The security with the double doors, what they're doing to get through that. Uh, key combination locks, that's fairly realistic. Minus shooting through the bulletproof glass, because that glass would be bulletproof. Well, that was a lot of fun checking out the gameplay. Aggressive mode had to have been my favorite. And if you liked them too, head on over to Gameology's YouTube channel and Facebook page. See you later.
I'm kind of lost with the fact that there were different amounts of gold worth when it seems like the same amount of bars were stolen every time. <laughs> yeah, which is oh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that bouillon, even though it's like that, that is, I mean, like 45, 50 pounds of brick.